Hello, once again, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's tutorial, I'm going to walk you through how to reset a WordPress website or basically how to clean your WordPress website. So we want to actually set it to default. Okay, so in order to do this, you need to go to the back end and we're going to install a very important WordPress plugin for this. But remember to subscribe if today is your first time and don't forget to turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of my upcoming video tutorials. So I have all my pages and everything active. But probably I want to rechange this website. I want to design a new website. I don't want to uninstall the WordPress, but I basically want to go ahead and then start a new website. And I want to clear this and then start a new web website from scratch using WordPress. And then this process is actually going to work for us. So let's go to the back end and then go to plugins. Just go and then click on new. Just click on new. And then we're going to install a plugin called WP Reset. So search for WP Reset. So we need this plugin. So you search for WP Reset plugin. So this is it. So first you need to install this. So you can see WP Reset, the entire site or selected part using advanced reset option to default values. That's 100% safe to use with built-in restore function. So this is from web factory limited you can see it's having about 400 plus active installation so just click on install now just wait for that to complete and then you go ahead and activate this i'm done activating this plugin and it's actually going to be under tools so you go to tools so just go to tools when you hover on tools you will see that we have what wp reset over here so just go ahead and open that now this is the page where we're going to do our reset now there's a lot we can read over here but let's go down let's focus on the important part so this is where we're going to do the reset the current team i'm using is called echo team and then if i want to reactivate this team back after I'm done with the reset, then I have to uh, check this. But at the moment, I don't want to reactivate. Let's assume we are starting a new website from scratch. And then the WP reset, I want it reactivated after the site is reset. So reactivate all currently active plugins. So the plugins will not be deleted, but it will be what? Inactive, okay? So if you want to reactivate them back, then you have to check this. But at the moment, we don't want to do that. So we just go ahead over here. And then type the word reset and then click on reset so let's do that our site is active after we are done we we'll reload and see the site it will be set to default so let's go ahead and type reset so i'm done typing reset i'll go ahead and click on reset site and i say are you sure you want to do this because you can reverse this so let's go ahead and then do that we want to reset the entire website so let's go ahead and do that click on reset wordpress it's actually going to take some time and then to reset the entire website and you can see at the moment our site is back to default all the plugins all other things we have on the site has been cleared so it's just like a new default website now you can see the dashboard is now clean we we'll go to the sites here and reload this site you will see that we have empty websites at the moment you can see the directory 2023 does not exist so mostly if you install a website if you install a WordPress website, the default team that is on it is the 2023 team. I have removed my own. I have removed my own. That is why I'm getting this error. I have removed my own over here. So basically, if you want to do that, you can go ahead and install a new team. The team that I use has been deactivated. If you want to activate it and restart the entire website, I can go ahead. The plugins that we have all has been deactivated. You can see they are all been deactivated. If you want to use them, we can select and reactivate them back. But we can start this website from scratch. Go ahead. If you go to post, the default post that we do get when we install WordPress, the hello world, you can see we have that over here. So this error here is basically that I don't have this team. That's the default team that comes with WordPress installation. That's the 2023, which I have deleted my own. That is why I'm getting that error. So if I go ahead and then probably add a new team right now, let me just search for some default team so you can see i have the 2023 team here i'll just go ahead and install this team and activate it so i'm just going to activate this team installed and activated it now so it's active now 
now we go back here and then reload our page this error will go because we have the 2023 wordpress team the default wordpress team so you can see we've actually reset the entire website to its original state so now we can build a new website from scratch without having to do new installation like subscribe for more video tutorials like this and don't forget to like this video and share with friends comments and if you have any other contribution you can leave that at the comment section till i come here again bye bye